making off. by making but by making the songs the same BPM, you're cutting corners. You are because now you're not mixing. Yes, you just literally like pressing play. At you're a glorified right button pusher, basically. Yeah. But are, you're not a DJ. Are people who drive automatic cars not driving? <laughs> yeah. And about uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. <laughs> For the Zulus, that is Ivigi Neviki. Ivigi Neviki. Ilivili Ali Chinchi. No, Ivigi. Ivigi Ali Chiga. Yeah, Ivigi Ali Chiga. Yeah. Ah, uh, did you see we did your 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 Maskandi artist? It didn't land, Kosli. It didn't land. Ah, it didn't. What right, happened? It ah, it didn't. It landed. It didn't. It didn't land it, bro. People love that interview, bro. Bro, that it's episode it. is sitting on. 67,000. Actually, that's the that is good. Uh-huh. 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 No, no, by our standards, you're right. That, that is, is low. Good all, yes. That is very good. But those... No, no, no. By our standards, we normally do about 100,000, 90K, 90K in uh-huh. the first day. Who? Uh, like celebrity interviews. I go back. But... There are some celebrity interviews that are still sitting by my 50 right now. Ah, those are way Which one? the old ones. Which one? Mm. Any recent ones this year? No, recent so. ones, it's always 1900. Yeah. This year, the old ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't the know. Old ones. Yeah. Kuzan is going to catch up. I believe in Kuzan. I think the people who bothered to check it out really enjoyed it. Some people didn't check it out, obviously. Mm. Although, because it takes, because how does it register as a view? You just, <laughs> when you watch it. <laughs> no, when you're in New York, but you don't need to have watched it for. No, 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 right? Yeah, the as, whole show. Thank yeah. you. So, it, what yeah. it tells me is that some people didn't check it out because they're like Kuzani. Oh, Maskandi artist. Yeah. Nah. Or even just didn't know. But those the guy. who watched it enjoyed it. Yeah. Did you? Did you enjoy it? Because you forced us to do it. I didn't. Fo- oh, well, we forced. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was you. It was, it was your doing. Yeah. But I ended up enjoying it. Yes, see, I, was a bit I enjoyed like, it. I know, enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, Pessim- great guy, man. I was pessimistic. About great guy, Thank man. You. So humble, super so chill. chill. So yeah. humble, man. When I got there, I was super hungry. And he overheard me, you know, asking for one of the guys, like, if, you know, we can go check out if there's food around. Yeah. And he was like, why don't I show in Pegan? We are born. Mm. Like, like, why don't I show why, why didn't you say? And I know how Zulus, like, they vary with food. Yeah. yeah. They vary, like, food is food, man. You know, like, everybody must eat. Like, and, you'll and, never. And he couldn't believe that I didn't know him. He's like, you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a big deal, though. It's like, like, it's a, a big super deal. Big deal bro. <laughs> and I heard during the interview, you said you have beef with Mtandeni. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Rashid, Rashid just posted uh, this. Rashid K from Back <laughs> to the Oskido. City, Oskido Metro FM. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, Mekti asked Kuzani about his beef with Mtandeni. And so Pindua asked Kuzani about his beef with Ikogama Elisha without realizing that Mtandeni and Ikogama Elisha is the same person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so hey, we, guess we got, what? We got dribbled by Muscandi. <laughs> like, seriously dribbled, eh? Like, yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to it, Podcast and Chill. We are back. Yes. Sol is here. Yes. Ghost Lady is here. I'm Aya here. is here. Black is here. Mesh is not here today. Tato is here. Catmaster is here. Yay. Decided Yay. to show up and show some love. Uh, we're coming at you live from uh, Mashabella Studios. If you want to use these studios, podcast at mashabella.co.com. Z-A. Uh, where do you guys want to start, man? So much happened. Ooh. But I feel like we say that every week. Yeah. Because True life though, happens. But a lot has been happening. Yeah. But this week, literally, a lot happened. What caught my eye was uh, the fact that Natasha and Locha are, 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 are now dating. Official. Oh, Officially. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, fuck, that could have been me. Why? Why? Natasha Tahane wanted you. No, no, no. I don't know if she wanted me, but she used to DM me when I was doing a radio show. And mm. then I blue ticked her. <laughs> Never responded. And then I saw her once on uh, Somisi's show. I'm like, hey, let me go back to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> and let me guess, she blue ticked wow, you. For real? Yeah, then she blue ticked me. <laughs> Shame. I still have those DMs, I think. Ah, she used to DM you, dog. Yeah, bro. And was I she th- still as hot or was she ashy back then? Like, <laughs> I don't know, bro, but the profile looked dope. But Where at the time, no, at the time, I wasn't, uh, I was trying to be a good guy, you know? 
Good yeah. guy, away. I wasn't trying oh. to chill the listeners. Eh? Oh, <laughs> those are YFM days. Eh? <laughs> Those days, yeah, I must tell the listeners that's how you know what they want, and you know, <laughs> in tune. How the crows are rocking, it's wife. <laughs> I was busy with snow bunnies, yes. Oh, the wife days, yeah. I thought you were busy with snow bunnies only when you went to 947. Yeah, she used Highfeld. to listen to my show at Highfelt. Oh, so at that time, I didn't care about black girls then. <laughs> ah, dog, yeah. you, you, you fumbled the, the bag now, was it? You fumbled, you fumbled, bro. But she's ah, no, it, beautiful, just, it just means eh? it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, she's right. She's it, it, she wasn't meant to. Well, she's be. hot. Just yeah, for not my type, but yeah, she's hot. Is it true she d- she dated Aries? Hmm. Aries, how old is she? Going to this girl? How young is she? <laughs> I don't know. She's dating she, Aries. Yeah, I don't I think know, so. man. I don't catch up like with these things. Well, know. she was on uh, was what is cool. that uh, that series? Yeah, here you go. Water as a schoolgirl. So yeah, see, here the DMs. Yeah. Twenty fourteen. Oh, I thought I was going to say 20, 24 DMs. Who says great talking to you? Who says this? No, you said great talking to you, to yeah, her. Yeah. But where did you talk to her? Because the I first thing I'm seeing on is the you show. saying, oh. oh. I think maybe she called on the show. She's like, keep on keeping on, man. Uh, my gosh. How was, is Park Life? What's Park Life? It was an event we're doing. Oh, oh okay. another blue tick. This is 2014. Wow. He blew, yeah, Mac Blue Ticks. Second blue tick now. In two days, it's my birthday party tomorrow. Nine four point high felt. Okay, blue tick. Whoa. Done. Did thanks. No, you deleted messages that you said. Ah. Why is she saying <laughs> done? Did thanks. What is she thanking you for? She wanted to enter a competition. I think that I was ready. Okay, now this is twenty eighteen. Um, I think now she's popping. <laughs> <laughs> Hogtown vendor here says, Hey, sunshine, just saw you on some easy show. Still looking good. <laughs> this is when you realize he fumbled the pussy. <laughs> Four years later, Hey, sunshine, just saw your message. <laughs> you, should be, you should be more like, Hello, my queen. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, now this is 2018. Yeah. Hey, I've got a podcast. Hey, tables have turned. <laughs> 2018, hey, I've got a podcast and would love for you to be a guest. <laughs> the portal will take plus minus 30 minutes. It's also portable so we can record at your house, studio, or whatever best suits you. Kindly let me know if you're keen. We can sort out the details. Here's a recent episode I did. And also, my team is not that big. So when we're done, they can leave and we'll remain together. <laughs> <laughs> I added that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That was just spice. I'm kidding. Ooh, <laughs> now look at who's acting fresh. Hey, I'll let you know tomorrow afternoon. Cheers. Did she? <laughs> no, she didn't. Ooh. We're still waiting for the interview till this day. Wow. 2021. Awesome. <laughs> Can you give me your numbers? Because I'm hardly on Twitter. Okay, I think. Oh, this is oh, this is 2018. My bad. It's still 2018. And she she gives the numbers. It's 0813119696. I won't say the rest. <laughs> hey, sunshine, are you available for an interview next week? Shame. Now you're chasing. Hey, dog. Oh, <laughs> oh shame. Oh, oh God. Should have been fumbled. a soccer player or something. Hey, you know? bro. Oh. But isn't Lodge like a like a playboy? I don't know. Mm. He, he seems like one, but I mean, it's just you know, seems it's just looks. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe but he's a nice soccer player. player. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, uh, doesn't the mean he's a player. Come ah, on. they're all soccer players. Oh, I mean, look at yeah, players. Little Nyane, happily married. Mm. Simpio Shabulala, happily married with former Miss SA. So I mean, it happens, dog. Just soccer players. Yeah. And you get those boys. few that are good, good guys. You know, well, they, they, they. You huh? look at them and think they are good guys. I'm just saying you'll see those few soccer players and be like, hmm, maybe those ones are good guys. Just like that guy's your friend. I mean, he seems like a chill guy. It's ours. It's ours. It's ours. And, and uh, what I want to say, man, uh, we're talking about soccer players, ne? Natasha, yeah, Notch. soccer players, being playboys, yeah. Being playboys. Oh, I wanted to ask about that guy during lockdown when he was doing the outfits. Where is he? Oh, Katsande. Katsande. He did, 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 he did
He yeah. did it like two days ago. He dropped the pictures. Kitoko Makasi. What's that thing? It's I think it's uh, Shona. What what is it? The caption. He's still around. Oh, he's still doing that thing, dude. And we got like a cup final, bro, coming up, <laughs> and he's got the arrogance of posting himself, <laughs> and he's got a studio now at home, and he's got a studio. Yeah, studio. he's posted in the studio now. It looks like because normally it would be outside his house. Yeah. yeah. Now it's a professional studio. I'm assuming it's in his house. The yeah. Chiefs being in the final is that a big thing? What do you mean, dog? It's the Champions League final. Ah. Well, your teams don't it's play in Champions League finals. Yeah, it's a big thing. <laughs> it's a big deal. Because last time I heard, like, Chiefs were losing. No, we're in the final. We're in the, we're in the Champions final. League final. But we didn't have a good season, though. Are you a Chiefs supporter? Yeah, like... Sort of, right? Sort of, but yeah. You, yeah, yeah, we didn't have... We had a horrible season locally. Everybody knows. So that's why us making it to the final is a big thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a huge comeback, thing. Yeah, like, dog. I mean, we fired our coach, Kevin Hunt. He's Gavis Khan. Yeah, Arthur Zwan is the coach now. Ne? Arthur Zwan is now the coach, mm. yeah. Um, Stuart Baxter has uh, has been signed, but he hasn't started as our coach. But Arthur Zwan right now is holding the fort. Do you think we're going to take it? Because Al yeah, 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 yeah. We will take it. I think we've... It's the odds are against us. They're stacked against us. But fuck, though, we defeated Simba. We defeated uh, Why Dad. I think we're good enough to take it. We will take it. No. We should take it, dude. We're not the favorites, though. I was watching. Um, I could have got this new show on channel. It's called The Next Level, like DJing. Oh, uh, oh yeah, uh, DJing show. Kind of like the lock- lockdown house party they once yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so oh, they've got a new just, one. Okay, okay. It's okay. called The Next Level. Okay. So I'm checking out Devin Gogo mix there, bro. Like. I think there's a new wave of DJs mixing without headphones. And I just can't understand, like, how do you mix without headphones? Not even, like, for a second. Because I know, like, so, so some people just need, yes. like, for 10 like, seconds, literally, just then listen, they pick it up, yeah. the beat is locked in, and they're good to, to rock, and they know the songs anyway, right? Zero. The whole hour should mix without headphones. Mm. And then when I went on YouTube, um, I saw Kabza and the title. You know when they put a title for clickbait? Mm. And the title was Kabza Mixes Without Headphones. I'm like, is this like a, a new thing now? Aya, oh, you're a DJ. Yeah, actually, Aya. So this like is what they do, on? right, with that. Uh, is it so mic on? Yeah. yeah, it's on. Yeah. So you get all your songs on 114. Then when you Same get, BPM. Yeah. All your songs on 114. When you get to those decks, they tell you what to do. Yeah. The you know the, 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 the new 2000s and 1000s? Yeah. They tell you what to do, and, and you just do that. So it's not record box? Nah. Oh. You just you just go to the pitch and, and put it on 114. 114 on the other side also. <sighs> and just put it in. So I'm mixing a mic. Yeah. Right? So they <sighs> it's the easy though. Set the tempo up the, to the, the, the same. The, I and mean, you can see the wave yeah. anyway, right? The equipment has made it, it. E- made it easy now. Yeah. But isn't that disrespecting the craft? It I is. mean, it's like doing a podcast without a microphone. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, no, that's not the same thing. It is, bro. No, it's maybe without checking your levels or something. Because they still play music. It still sounds good. To me, it's does it still sound good? You right now sound like a musician who says, no, you're breaking rules. Your keys, your chords should be... But, and you're telling someone who's playing it by ear and says, does it sound good or not? So I think it's, if it sounds good, they're not fucking up the mixes, are they? Agna Mahashi, there's no train wrecks. Mm. It's not out of sync. So how are they disrespecting that? What craft? is the point of being a DJ? The art of DJ? Entertain, entertain people. Um, it depends. D- different DJs have different ethos. One might, might say to educate people with new music or whatever. But bottom line is to keep a crowd going. Just yeah. like an MC, like a rapper or a musician, right? Yeah. To keep the crowd going. But when we talk about the art of DJing, how can you DJ without being able to preview what song is coming up next? Because as a DJ, you are there to mix songs. But you know, but as a That's DJ... That's your craft. But as yeah. a DJ, you should know your music. Maybe those headphone DJs yeah. or no headphone DJs, maybe they know what set they're going to play. Then you can say maybe it is No, by making, by making, by by making the songs the same BPM, you're cutting corners. You are. Because now you're not mixing. Yes. You're just literally like pressing play. At you're a glorified right button pusher, basically. Yeah. But you're not a DJ. Are people who drive automatic cars not driving? <laughs> yeah. There's layers to it, though. There's layers to it, yeah. Think about it. Hey, there's motherfucker. That- <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got me there. I ain't got me there. <laughs> I changed gears fast. Right? I don't even end this fucking argument now. <laughs> to me, it's the objective. If the people on the floor who are not DJs, who don't care if you got headphones or not, who don't care about the BPM... As long as the music is good. ...who are, ha- are happy as you transition from one song to the other, as you 
do whatever tricks you want to perform if they're happy then you've you've you, your objective is done as a DJ. so what's next now djs are going to mix without mixing the mix the mixer yeah probably probably yeah? probably well yeah if they can mix somewhere on their phones somewhere yeah everything. so i just got my phone that's like a playlist everything changes bro. yeah i can imagine i, I had to accept it um yeah. everything changes and anyone can do it but the difference is it's like a playlist right yeah. but if you ask me you ghost lady everybody here put a, a playlist together S- only one playlist will make sense and sound good musically as it goes from one song mm-hmm. to the other uh, yeah so so even though anyone can do it it still takes the ear either you got the ear, either either you got it or you don't oh, it man. takes being a dj to do that because there's layers that as, as i said there's that and there's track selection there's transitions mm-hmm. and how you play the songs mm-hmm. to the crowd. So there's that. How you play the song, when you play, when the, you song, play the song, where do you exit out of the yes. song, when do you mix the song in, what part do you mix in, what part do you decide to loop? Machines yeah. can't help you with that. Yeah. Dog, man, it kills the I'm art sure, of DJing, man. You're just a purist, remember, dog. Let remember, yeah, I'm old school, Let bro. it go. Let it go. <laughs> Let no. it go. This is the new season, bro. <laughs> Before, Let before it go. we used to play vinyls, right? Yes. So I'm sure there were DJs who were like, ah, oh, wow, you know, now they've made things easier. You Manengi. know, vinyl, vinyl. No. Serato, hey, but guess what? Cheating. Exactly. It's not cheating because you can still play garbage. No, go, go, go. Serato is convenience. So when when I started DJing, I used Serato. Uh. The reason why I used Serato because like with um, because before USBs were CDs, yes. Mm-hmm. So you have to carry like a fucking hundred CDs, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then when you get to a party, you realize ah shit, mm. the music that I have here is doesn't cater for this crowd, mm. uh-huh. and then you forgot your CDs at home. Yeah. So I started playing with the laptop because I was mm. playing for like different crowds every weekend. Mm. So all the songs are there. So mm. if I go to a corporate, then I know okay, cool. Let me go to this folder. Okay. If I'm going to like a Indian party, oh okay, cool. Uh, colored party now, now here's the question don't you think they they want convenience when they do the the pitch thing so that they don't have to to run the wheel they have to mix no it just looks like song. it's being lazy uh, it's convenience chief, ah, chief. You what's the point of djing if you're not going to listen to the, the point song? of djing is to entertain people yeah. the best way how bro it's like playing soccer without a soccer ball what? Uh, no. <laughs> it is. No, it's not. It is. No. no. What you're couple. saying now is that it's DJing without the music. It's the main tool you need to DJ, the music. And it's called football because there's a ball by your feet. So you can't say it's like playing football without... Then you're not a DJ, you're a compiler, you're compiling uh. songs. No, you're not. <laughs> you are. Because you still need to loop. It's a skill that you, you need, need to What is she looping? What is she looping? Oh, and let me not say her, because it's not her yeah, only that does it. And there's Gabsa too. Right? No, I don't have a problem with her. Yeah. No, yes, I love, yes. love Devin Even Gabsa is well. I need yeah. to Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also <laughs> so what is the point of, 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 of uh, her DJing then? No, entertain man. the crowd yeah. Yeah. entertain the, the, the crowd the headphones is for you to listen to the songs the headphones it's not for the crowd to cue, yeah. it's not for the, the crowd to hear yeah. parts of the songs that you're about to include yeah. mm-hmm. in your ears if what you the don't crowd have doesn't to do hear. that then you don't need the headphones yeah. and if you know you're your cutting music cutting that corner to not have to choose songs and listen to them you just get there and play the song and you know where it's playing at Soon your mind will be connected to the mix or whatever song you're thinking <laughs> will then play. And you can still be and a shit DJ. And you just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll still be a shit DJ. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, but a track selection. You, 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 fine. Thank it you. Fine. I'll shine now, but Devin Coco. Now, that, see? De- Devin Coco is good. You. Good. You, 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 I could watch her the whole Coco day. Like, I actually. Good. And forget the fact that she's a female, but yeah. like, just in DJing, like, track selection, song selection, she's, she's fucking yeah. amazing, bro. No. She's good. Now, nah, shout out to her. So, you see, it still requires talent. But anyway, speak about music. Congratulations to Casper Nyovez, dog. Oh, Nyovi, Nyovi, Fucking hell, Sweet and Short 2.0. Listen to it. Dope. Sweet and Short. Yeah. My piano. No? Yeah, my love piano. it. Love it. He does like the sound that I like. You know, the the nice, chilled... Uh, One thing about Casper is always like had proper production and a proper team of producers. What did you think of it? Um, I haven't listened to it, but we're, we're playing listening it. to it now. Yes, but it's not the full thing. Yeah, but the music is beautiful. The music is beautiful. Um, Casper is good. You know, Casper is an entertainer. So is he no longer a hip hop artist now? What, he what, is, what, but he always on? does this. It's two point The first one he dropped was also like um, you know, it was already going through those kind of beats with the first one. Yes, uh, the first one was like out of hip hop. It was like um. 
Yeah. Was it, it also was my piano. piano? It was, it was piano. 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 The yeah. old piano. The yeah. old piano. Yeah. Yes, the first one was still piano. The yeah. old piano. <laughs> you know when you say old piano? Uh. <laughs> when I was watching Channel I saw a video of, uh, uh, what's his name? DJ Cleo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With uh, Ishmael. They did like a piano remix of Avile Gile Masango. Yeah. But he, he used like the old piano sound. So well, the, he used the... Vigro deep sound. Oh, so yeah, when Vigro yeah, deep, yeah. when that sound was popping, yeah. he studied it, perfected it. When he drops it, <laughs> when he drops it, the sound has moved on. He laughs, he laughs. When I lay, but hey, but with Cleo, it's the same thing. Even with the song, I see me let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't that when that song dropped, there wasn't the calm that was at that particular time that was, was being done. Yes. By, uh, what's, yeah. what, what's that duo from Durban? You Destruction know? Boys. Yes, Boys. it wasn't that. You know, it was like DJ Clock, kind of. Because Clock is like the originator of calm. You know, it was a bit mm. awkward. But yeah, man. <laughs> Shout out to Cleo. There's a delayed sound. Cleo will, just Cleo, you'll always like see what is going on <laughs> and drop a sound of what is currently happening. <laughs> <laughs> Cleo, man. But you know Cleo is like one of the most talented guys in the Fuck country. Fuck, right. amazing. That guy, is talented. Ah, that guy can produce, so, like uh, plays so. jazz and can Yo, produce jazz like yeah. from scratch. That guy is so... Musical genius. Cleo! Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to producing, Woo. I respect him and Bongani Fasi. Those two. Yes. On another level. Yeah. And life bass. He plays life... Ooh, Cleo's Ooh. good, bro. Cleo's the man. Nice. Yeah, I saw a video. Casper said, see... What's his... Uh, what's that song? <laughs> Satandan. Satandan. Mm. It's the first song he's ever released as con number one. Oh. In his whole career. Oh yeah, because you, you always say that radio doesn't show him love. Mm. His, his songs don't really chart mm. that much. He always says that. Shame, man. Well, congrats to him. Yeah. And then speaking about uh, piano, did you hear the track Pori did with Reason? Pori? Yes. Reason? Yes. That's oh. a mismatch. Yeah. Reason was like a backpacker rapper. Nah, no, no. bro. She was wow. going through like some kind of depression, so he was actually reason. thanking yeah, reason. Sure. Why would yeah. Reason such a talented rapper go through depression? Oh. Let's call him. I was he was going through depression. Yeah, he said. Actually, I heard the song on live. Mm-hmm. Fuck, dope, man. Dope. Sorry to cut you off. There goes no, later. No, no. Are you calling him? Yeah, let's call him. Yeah, let's call him. Wow. Can you guys hear him? Yeah, yeah, can hear. Mm. Yo, yo, reason, reason. Yo, 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 the troublemakers. <laughs> reason! What's up? <laughs> what reason do you have to call us that now, <laughs> eh? <laughs> I don't know, but you can tell me. <laughs> What's happening, bro? Sit down, look at a few of your episodes. Yeah. How you doing, bro? I'm chilling, I'm chilling man. Bro, last time I Did saw you, it? I think we were at a club in, 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 with Zandy, man, and we are getting wasted, bro. Okay, don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. Don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I just heard the song you did with Pori. Fucking hell, that song sounds dope. Abokanda, she is. Yo, 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 yo. How did that happen, bro? Yeah, it's it's so random. Uh, I happened to be at Pori's house. Um... On my birthday, funny enough, uh, and we were just hanging out. We were talking. I wasn't even supposed to be working, man. I I was just playing him some of the stuff I was experimenting with. And then we started working. We started working. And then somewhere at like 6 a.m. when we're done recording, this did this beat, man. Mm -hmm. And and I said, dog. And I do. it started out as one verse. And then then it became two verses. And then came three verses. And then it was like, I... You know, it was it just a spur in the moment thing. You know, it was just an instrumental not much on it and it and it came out nice. Bro, it came out it came real out. good. Are you guys oh, gonna release that? Are we doing a video? What's the plan? Yeah, no, we have to dog. We have yo, what are you saying? <laughs> we have to. Ah, this one is we, landing, bro. This one is landing. Mm. Hey stop. It's it, it is. I don't wanna lie. I don't wanna lie. I can't even believe it I'm on the song. So is this reasons Doc Shebeleza? Is this reasons <laughs> life changing hit? No. Is this a comeback? We all know everyone needs a Doc Shebeleza or Ngutu. Yeah. You know what I mean? That life changing one. That that I'm from. You know what? To be close to the metaphor, it's more like uh, Ngutu. Oh, oh shit! Are you for real? That's because that was if a you... game changer, man. I mean. 
You see, cats are fighting, you know, over millions just because of that song. <laughs> it started nah, everything. Nah, look, fight over millions. I'm tired of fighting over thousands. Bro, we're I'm going millions. We're going double platinum with this one. One for each baby. No, one platinum for each baby. <laughs> <laughs> you a lot of platinum, bro. <laughs> You're a platinum mine. <laughs> we, need, we need more than double. Man, that's multi-platinum. Bro. Yeah. That's multi-platinum. Multi, yes. And then what's happening, what bro? I, I, I heard you went through depression, bro. Is that true? I didn't even... Yeah, I did. You know, I think, you know, we always just, like, say, ah, I'm down. I'm not okay, you know. Or I guess I was just taking things as they come, you know. But, like, you know, in hindsight, you know, when I was sitting there... And I was talking to this guy, and I realized, damn, man, I think I might have been, like, really, really depressed, dog. Mm. I might have been going, like, serious depression, um, you know, just, uh, and, and and depression, you know, it's got its own red flags, you know, just how you respond to things, how you take things, how you deal with things, you know, um, feeling like your best, you know, just just feeling like your best, you mm. know. What Looking caused that? The time, uh, is, it huh? the, is it the breakup from loot? Um, what what caused that uh, that for you to feel down for these like past everything two, three years? Yeah. It's everything. Yeah. It's everything. So we've lost so many people just mm. as you know from from just death and not just just in general. You know, mm. lost so many people from death. Lost so much business from what the last year. Business. Yeah. Um, mm. lost so so much of ourselves to not knowing how to be a new person. Just rebuilding yourself yeah yeah and you there's just there was just a lot of loss yeah know? bro I'm... And, and, yeah continue and sorry like, sorry yeah and it was just like you know some things when you lose them you don't know who you are mm. you know mm. you know i mean even my even even my love for hip-hop bro so sure. you know this dog you know i, I love that thing more than anything in the world dog. since and jameson just, I, high high school man i've known you uh, as, mm. Before you I even called yourself love. reason, I lost the love. I wow. lost the love for that, and that 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 for me was bad. Mm. Like if I don't, I don't love this thing that I've known my whole life. You know, like what do I want to do? You know, so the acting started becoming more prominent. You know, all the media stuff and the advertising stuff that I do behind the scenes became more prominent. Writing for Boy D, you know, yeah. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But writing songs became more. I love that, man. Dude, we are rooting for you, bro. Like, we want you to win, man, because you're a great guy, man. Yeah. Yo. Thanks, Mac. Reason. Yo. Question. So, let's say you're out, whatever, in public, and you see someone who spoke trash about you. Slick talk. Remember when he spoke about you? I don't know if you saw that. It was. Yo, Yo, like, my what would you do to that kid if you saw him in public? My cry is that I wish Slick Talk would sit us down in front of him and say this shit. Mm. That's my cry. With Slick Talk. I don't have a, a problem with it with the existence of a Slick Talk. You know, I think being the older person that I am right now, I can understand why a person like that exists. He represents people who think like that, mm. and there so, are people who think like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people that think like that. I mean, look at his likes, look at his views. Yeah. You know, there's Ex- a lot of people who feel think like that. Some 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 of the things, you know, when he says them, you gotta think, hmm, let me look at it without yeah. know, emotion yeah. or yeah. taking it personally. Wow, that's you know, mature, let, me, let me actually listen to this, right? Mm, mm, mm. Then obviously he'll say some dumb shit mm. because uh, I, I'm just like, yo, why are you dissing all of us when you're always in a bedroom? <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, you have an office? don't you have an office? Don't you, like, you know what I mean? Like, what I see you got a new haircut. That's cool, but you're still in a bedroom with like some shady cupboards. Like, you should see my cupboards. I don't care if I'm not the biggest nigga in the country right now. I don't care if nobody likes my shit, but you should see my cupboards. You yeah. should see my bedroom. Yeah. You know so, so, so we can go on about that, like you know, don't dis Bonang about being, don't dis Nestici about being overseas, even if he was on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, Bana, askulu membana, kila nati ustela masimba direct. Yeah. Ustela yeah. yeah. masimba direct. Ah, I'm Bana. I'm showing you slick talk. Mm. I'm showing you fucked up. If you can go to Durban, actually, and do an episode in Durban. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> well, I, he's never. <laughs> He's I never do that. that. I'll take him seriously if he in does an bag. interview with Nasty C in Durban and he says all that shit there. Ah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear a fucking slick talk T-shirt on stage. Yo, bro, we gotta have you on a proper episode, man. There's so much to catch yeah, up on, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah.
I got you. I got you. Ain't nobody none of my trouble, man. <laughs> 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 slick talk 2.0 we are mini slick talk i'm to this track from a big cost yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You, know, you, you know reason inbox me dm me right yeah so he dms me like yo bro let's let's pick cost a guy that's no you can actually rap and you can actually fucking murder him yeah uh, drop a song for him i was like ah, I said no reason. not a song call him on the show and battle live on the show oh yeah. to battle live on the show oh, oh, that is yeah. a good idea. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Know you like that. I don't think they know you like that. Yeah, because we've battled you and I. Show. Yes. Yeah. I yes. see why you write You're people's one of the songs. You've battled. You're yeah. one of the few that won. You're one of the few guys that won. Yeah. yeah. I'm one of the few guys who actually killed Reason in a yeah. battle, rap battle. You fucking kidding me? Are you serious, Saul? Ask people him. Don't know that. Here he is. Ask him. Here it is. Ask yeah. him. Uh, so hey, it's like, true. Oh, We're sitting on a, no, on a hit maker here. Yeah. It's not like. a hit maker. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> battle rappers are bad at making songs, bro. I like it's not a hit maker, but I can <laughs> I could rap and battle. Like, oh, yeah, wow. it's not a hit maker. <laughs> Which battle rapper, like, you know, even in America, it's bad. The guys can't make songs, but yeah. I used to battle. Like, yeah. Shit, man. Reason. Bad reason. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, man. Thanks, Sizwe. We've been dropping mixtapes since then. All right, Mikey does. All right, no, love you guys long time, man. And uh, good luck with the with the song. I think it's going to do really, really great, man. Wow, when he yeah. says it's a good dude, bro, mm. then, wow. then I'm yeah. just glad Reason found because Reason has given so much to the game. For real. I know Reason, like, is, since we were in high school, he was at Germiston High. I was in the high school, St. Francis and Benoni. Mm. But we'd meet at a studio in so in, in Foslo, mm. a stethoscope studio. Guy now makes houses and stuff he no longer makes music and that's when i first heard reason uh, um mm. and he was going by the name of mad massacre mad mm. massacre reason's name in high school was that's mad. how you end up with reason the mass then yeah so Re- mad massacre and then when he uh, uh got affiliated with uh, outrageous records and was ready to launch his career commercially then it became reason the mass Mass short for massacre from Mad Massacre, yeah. and then eventually it just became reason. Oh, sounds like you're talking about like how Nas started his career, and now you know Nas is this big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, reason is a big thing, of he course. Is. Yeah, cool. nigga, I want a Nas career. I want a lot, dog. I want a Nas career, nigga. Yo, I want, <laughs> <laughs> I want Nas has great exes, great business. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> amazing catalog. That's not a bad look. I mean, you shout out, five. shout out to you, Reason man. Go back to your meeting, make that money, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, hey, yeah. For 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 every child, that's a lot of money to make. <laughs> 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 hey. Cheers, my dog. <laughs> oh. ah, what man, a I great know, guy, man. The, dude, it's, it's the song on his Insta. Just preview it, cause damn, bro. When he says the next good to mm. me, that's like. Yo, that's big, that's bro. That's big. That's big. That's life. That's gonna change his life. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, fucking happy for reason. You know, shout out to guys. We need to actually sit down and appreciate my police and for what he's done mm. for so many cats. I yeah. mean, Questa right now is you know an artist, accomplished, pro- possibly millionaire, because of where that transition started and it's from Ngudu. Yeah. And who made Ngudu? Here we go, here's a song. Here's just a preview. Yeah, man, that's some heat, bro. Now, now I believe reason is yeah. from Katlohong. Yeah. Oh, so awesome. Now it's, it's like, yeah, now oh. reason is like, you know. Yeah. Now nah, I wish him all the best, man. If there's one guy in the game wow, man. who deserves who this. Deserves this. Ah, ah, reason, you, ah, reason. Yo, bro, you found your lane. Keep going. Make your yeah, money. Man. Fucking get out of depression, yeah. you know. Smash some Insta honeys. Forget about loot, love. Yeah, yeah this is it. Do no, this, he's got bro. the love. It's time to get the loot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tall order. <laughs> 
It's to him, yeah, bro. Congrats. If you're an artist, do you release music now? If you know you've got a hit on your hands, do you release it now? Yeah, well, obviously you have to check like what's hi- what's happening. You know, what's happening is there's lockdown. There's no gigs. Drop there's it now. It's true. Yeah, so you drop, drop it, it now. now yeah. yeah, you drop, drop it, it next now. year. Your songs will sound out of date. You'll say, "Remember that piano by by Kamza? Yeah, he's dropping that in 2028. You know, because we're waiting for lockdown to be over. over yeah. <laughs> no, man, drop it, bro. Nah, I think there's a lot of hits out there now that haven't been dropped. But that's the thing. What if Actually, I mean I've got a couple of in my it. bag, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and kind of wait for wait for the festive that, that season. Drop also, who's in? <laughs> Please, yes, I goes. You yeah. know, like just wait for the festive season. So you know, like your timing. Let's go through this second, this third wave, and then maybe September. That's the p- perfect time. But to September, drop. there might be a fourth wave. Oh, did you hear that? In fact, they've even predicted a fourth wave for October. Mm. Mm, for uh, October. Are yes. you serious? Yeah. No. Yeah. Because the third wave is, what is it, the Delta? What is it, Beta, Del- Delta? they got a name, for, it's crazy. Let's like Google the name. It's the Delta one. The, the Delta, Delta one, yeah, man. So what was the second bad. wave? I don't know the name of that one. Oh. I really think, like, because every day on Twitter, it's like someone is passing away. And look, I don't know if it's, it's, it's COVID or something, but people are just dying. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's, like, it's bad, bro. It's How many people died this week? Oh. I've even lost count, man. There is, uh, what's, Steve Kakane. 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 Steve Kakane is oh. dead. Ish. There's Neshe, uh, what, Mutodi? Mush- yeah, Mutodi. Is that how I'm saying it? Yeah, like, he passed away. Yo, who else? I saw Caesar posted someone who passed away. He works at, uh, um, um, 702 then there's a doctor someone oh yeah dr john tiban is just well. passed away yeah. it's bad bro people are just yeah it's horrible even in swaziland oh okay but there but there it's not even covered it's not covered going oprah with the rest in peace you get a rest in peace you get a rest in peace <laughs> there is just politics right politics, yeah. politics people want freedom yo. Mm. right people are tired of the the king Ish. um he's not delivering yo so many swati chillers have hit us up saying yo can you please talk about this like it's yeah crazy. i mean it's, it's bad crazy. the situation is bad i saw some videos oh, oh people yeah, yeah. oh like there's a whole massacre hacked. going on that side eh? Eh? a whole massacre is just a whole going, massacre yeah. and the, the king fled right he fled and apparently what? he's in johannesburg right We're in basically he's in uh, santon oh he's hiding and the people are waiting for him Yo. to say something he's not saying anything but what can he say because the, the people don't want him as a king and the population is so small that how, how do you fail to take care of well according to google it's like 1.3 million the population yeah how do you fail to take, take care, care of 1.3 million people but it's almost it's almost Let's like only the people that are close by him are able to be Rich, no, guys, know. how do you fail as a king? As like, a king, I feel, your people. I feel like the guy had an opportunity to create like a Wakanda kind Yo. of situation, right? Exactly. A country, okay. the only country. Yo, like my G. Yo, can you hear us? Oh, we've got a caller. We'll call yeah, I got a sweaty chiller. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, so please. Oh, nice. What's happening, can Zil? This down. Can you hear us, brother? Yes, I can. All right, cool. Can you guys hear him? Yeah. Yes. Loud and clear. Hey, bro, what's going on, man? You good? <coughs> yeah, I'm okay. What's happening in Swaziland, man? Yo. Hey, man. I, hey, I tried to hey, see your videos, hey, but they're hey. too graphic. I can't, man. Yo, it's disturbing. Um, Firstly, I would have to explain of how it all started, be to resulting to what is exactly happening right now so that you get to understand what led to almost each and everything that is being said so that you could also filter out what's true or not it all started by uh, an incident where a, a university student was shot by policemen uh, during that youth protested and they insisted for justice against police brutality. Hmm. That was achieved, and a a corona was 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 placed to and an investigation is ongoing on. That resulted into people realizing the op- the kind of oppression that is happening in the country. Yeah. Whereby during the memorial of that student, police fired tear gas at the nation. For no reason, no harm was there. Family members were were were, were critically injured, and some 
suffered from asthma attacks and all that. Yeah. Mm. There were members of the parliament who were there and experienced the same kind of treatment. And the voice has been saying that they need to elect their own prime minister. Mm. That's the first thing they were saying. And we have got three MPs that have been advocating for that. Mr. Mdudus, Melane Bakete, Mabuza, and the Tandendo. These people have been advocating for the people. They've been standing for the people to whatsoever that they need. They were told that that it's all in their head. They, it's nothing much. The acting prime minister said it's, they, are, they are saying what they are thinking is best. The people haven't said that. And the elderly members of the parliament and those that are benefiting from the state were against that. Yeah. They said the one minute of the people saying that. People started going to their local government called Dingundla, delivering petitions of what they really want of the nation. They were peaceful at first. They went there, they delivered to their members of parliament that they had elected themselves, telling them what they want of the country, telling them that they need a people's prime minister. That has been happening over a period of time. Some were successfully delivered. Petitions were successfully delivered. Mm. But now when it came to a certain specific location at Spofanen, the, prime, the member of parliament was blocked going to, to the local government, meeting its people to discuss the petition that they were delivered. They were blocked under the, 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 the previous speech on the previous day of the acting prime minister stating that there wouldn't be any gathering and he is banishing the, div the delivering of petitions in different local governments mm. due to the regulations of COVID. Whereas on that specific day, there were 44 cases and the previous day, there were only two cases found, but he had banned them. Rio started that night where they stopped the member of parliament of Spofanen to meet its people. That's when people started banning trucks. Mm. That's when pigeons, people started banning shops. Because now you have deprived them. Mm. A, a, a police force, a police force by the name of Slongonyan was recorded saying that today your legal right is being deprived. Mm. There is a recording it's him saying that to the member of parliament and the people that were blocked on the road towards Pofanen. That created the whole mayhem because after that, people in different locations now started fighting back. They started looting shops. They started causing fires. The and wh wh where's the one. king in all of this? Mm. He hasn't said anything. We have had people talking in his behalf. Firstly, it was his firstborn daughter. He had said that he, he it was just crocodile tears that he has had and it is loud what the people are saying at first on the national radio stating that people who were, what they are insinuating of the royal family is somehow true they are taking blame of whatsoever that they have claiming like living lavishly and all that they are taking blame and they have misused some of the funds and all that so but it's not in joke right? on we do not know the whereabouts of the king Nothing has been confirmed yet, but the first point daughter has said that he is in the country, he hasn't fled. But we are not sure of anything because the, the acting prime minister, in each and every statement that he makes all the time, he lies about certain things. Mm. A lot of things I feel like will backfire to him, not the king, because he's the one lying. Like, for instance, the network has been cut down in Switzerland. Not People the network, the, the network. internet. The internet, yeah. The internet, the internet. They've been getting from 9 to, to 11 a chance to be online. We solidly believe that it's because they're trying to control people publicizing everything that has been happening mm. in the country. Mm. So within the, well, within the country, you can only call for around 10 to 15 minutes and you are you are being cut and disturbed wow. through wow. your conversation sure so that has been happening this morning we woke up with an audio of the the first point daughter talking to the bbc news stating that 
there are certain people who infiltrated the country and now are impersonating the police officers and the soldiers, killing people. Yo. It is not the armed forces that are yeah. doing this. People have entered the country and they are doing this to the to the people of Emaswat. And now a lot of people have died, but the but the acting prime minister has dis, has denied the fact that people have have have, have died. Mm -hmm. The Times of Swaziland has stated that there are almost around hundred people that have been injured and that have died. Some have been amputated in the government hospitals. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, the online media are also saying the same thing. The, pri the princess also agreed to the fact that there are people that have died, but the acting prime minister says nobody died. Wow. You see, now everything is contradicting to what is exactly happening. Yes, we can't deny the fact that people were wrong by looting and setting fires everywhere to almost to everything. Yes, that was wrong, but they were angry. What led to that? We need to, uh, to identify what led to that because the problem didn't start when they were wanting to be heard, started when you were silencing them under the regulations of COVID-19. Hectic. Zeal, thank you so much for that, man. Thank you for shedding light. Uh, we'll keep you in our prayers, but it's hectic. So, oh, so that's where it started, the death of a young guy. Yeah. I think it's Tabani. The Tabani, name. Justice, yeah, Tabani. Just, yeah. Justice, Justice for, for Tabani. Tabani, hashtag. So you can follow that. That's where it sounds like a movie, bro. Dude, oh. man. And this is just happening in our own like backyard. But, like, Swaziland is just here. Nah, Swaziland is, I mean, is, ah. is, is within you know oh, our yo, country yo mm. and such a small like you think you know things would be perfect such yes, a small population yeah. you think like you know they would be like but like even king Moswati, isn't he like rated as one of the richest kings like he's the wealth that they have the as but as dude you monarchy. can still be the richest king exactly. and still take care of 1.4 exactly, 3 million exactly. people exactly so the money is there it's just that they've been used missing the fines like ah uh, no, I've seen this movie before. King though. is that man, and I think people don't mind having a king or whatever any kind of political system, as long as it works, right? Mm. As long as it works for mm. the people, it caters for the people. There is good quality education, uh, employment is up. I mean, look, one point. Let's say there's one point five million people. Yeah. Some are kids, some are pensioners. Yeah, right. In that kind of country, you shouldn't really have unemployment, for example, True. as a problem, right? Mm. Ah, and then back things. home here, what do you think about Mshalozi? Zuma. Hey, there's a problem happening. Yo. Right? They gave him till Monday. Did they extend no, it? No, Sunday. They gave him till Sunday. Yeah, I, you know, he's going to be going to the, like, well. Just break it down for those who don't know what's happening. Okay. No, basically Zuma was, was and if I'm wrong, correct me. Zuma was not uh, uh, showing up at the at the Zondo Commission, mm -hmm. and then uh, they went to the constitu constitutional court, and it passed down a judgment that mm. Zuma must go, mm. right? And if he does not, <laughs> Zuma must go. <laughs> and then if he Zuma does not must go, go Zuma, Zuma must, must go. go. <laughs> and if he doesn't show up, um, that's when then they said uh, he's in contempt of uh, the constitutional court, which is the court that said he needs to. Uh, show up and give testimony at the at the commission mm. and he hasn't so they uh then said he, he's in contempt of court right mm. Mm. Yes. so he must uh, hand himself over to the police station either at Ingandla or in Johannesburg mm. and he hasn't done that and mm. Beitler was also instructed to fetch him <laughs> yes of course Beitler is the police minister right yes. and he and uh, and he's a, a friend of Zuma now he's been instructed to go <laughs> to go fetch him and that's what's going to happen and he said they need to then fetch him if he does not hand himself over mm. within the time he's been given to hand himself over. He's been given to win. Sunday. So Sunday. That, that, that's the thing. Monday. By the time this comes out, it'll be Monday. Yeah. So he should have come, like, gone. He should be in prison, in fact, by Monday. Because I heard he said he's too old to go to prison. Well, there's well, Corona. That's what they course, say. There's yeah. Corona. There's COVID. But yeah. come on, Bill Cosby was in prison. Well, who, but he's out. Yeah, he's <laughs> we are. Well, Cosby he's out. Uh, Bill Cosby's out. Yo. Yo. He's out. Somewhere having a party, Yo. popping bottles <laughs> and pills. Popping yeah, and pills. <laughs> 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 he went to rehab. Most he was there for like two minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was in prison. Um, so that's the story with, 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 with the whole Jacob Zuma thing. But now the problem is there's people at Nkantla who say you have to get through us mm. and to get to this man. Hectic. It's, hectic. Yeah, and I mean, I don't think the police can just go and extract But can you guys him. see what's happening? It's 
bad. It's Can you guys see what's happening? Yep. What's happening? It's a distraction. From? COVID. Yeah, but it, I think it's it's a coincidental one. It's not no, like they planned it. No, 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 no. Who owns the media? Oh. Who owns the media? Mm. Who owns the media? You know. It's Cyril's friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the Nespiris of this world. Exactly. Yeah, of course. So they fucked up like bot. badly with the COVID thing. Yeah. So they dropped the Zuma bomb to distract us. Because now we talk oh, about Zuma. So you Zuma. think they're pursuing him like this so that we all talk about him? Yeah. Well, yeah. If, if that's the case, even the media is distracted if you think about it. Yeah, but... Because now they also... Oh, exactly. Camera lights, eyes on Gantla, exactly. right? Exactly. And no one's talking about COVID anymore. Mm. No well, one's talking about the third wave anymore. No one is talking about well, vaccines the, anymore. The vaccine, slow vaccine rollout, it's the child every, money, everything, every, media vibes. Everything now is just about Zuma. Mm. Mm, true, and, man. And they knew it. Like, will he actually actually end up, end up going into prison? No. Even if he can make claim, okay, no, it's fine. I'm going to go to the prison. I'm going to go to prison. Mm. But guess what? I know I've got people who will be like, no, no way. Hence, you've got all these troops now are just surrounding Kantla like, hey, we're protecting our president. Never. My thing is, when he, if he goes to prison, who's going to service his wives? I mean, they must be serviced. <laughs> Is the well, she, do you think he services all of them, even him? <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on, man. After he's given up, hey, I mean, like, if you had that many old. wives, the trust me, one is getting smashed by someone. It the bouncers are going dibs on. I've <laughs> 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 got, yeah, yeah, dibs on that one. <laughs> hey, bro. Nah, but I, I don't even think he services them, all of them, like properly at his age. Yeah. Clearly someone is, 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 is. come on, let's be honest. Yeah, there was it's a like rumor one, one bodyguard was smashing one I of remember that. Yeah, there was a rumor with true. even um, King Muswati that the bodyguards of the wives would be the ones who would be smashing the wives. Mm. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. they'd go away because obviously it's like, okay, I want to go to UK for shopping. You go with bodyguards, you know. A bodyguard is now your boyfriend. Yeah. You travel the world with a bodyguard. Because he's can't he can't be there. And that's his job to guard your body. So he was checking for any <laughs> he was checking for any threats inside. Like are there any threats inside your body, ma'am? And I really need to check this out. <laughs> yeah, nothing here. An ovary here, ovary there, cervix there, there. I know you are all, all is good. Who knows? Some good. of the kids are actually not Muswatis. Exactly. Know? I'm thinking <laughs> some of the kids are not Muswatis. Who knows? I'm thinking we must check. Read that rumor. The Duzani Zuma, who which bodyguard he looks similar to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's great. Then how do we know that King Mswati himself is actually the son of King Sobuza, his dad? You see? Then how do we know? You'll never exactly. know. You'll never know. That's the problem of having 300 wives, eh? Because that, I mean, that guy had like 100 yeah, of lots. wives, 300 kids or something. Yeah, 300 like that. kids. Sobuza, yeah. The father. Oh. What's the most amount, most amount of women you'd you'd like to have or would take? I I would take hmm, three three. I do three. three like yeah. I definitely three. That's mm. it. Three. So that's about three sex tapes a week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or a day. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, and like and, and how would you alternate terabyte between hard them? drives a month. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and ten tera uh, hard drives a month. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For those tapes. But how would you alternate between them? How? Yeah. Normal. Saturday, Monday, There's like seven you separate days the days. Week. And you see this one on these days. Or sometimes it can see two in a day, right? But three wives, dog, one woman is enough already, bro. Exactly. Imagine three. But remember, though, right, that when you are at, in a position where you can go polygamous, mm. the dynamics are different mm. from when if you're just, you know, some guy holding down a nine to five and you've got <laughs> one chick disrespecting you all the time, <laughs> right? If you can take three hours, it means you could go up. Yes, it means yes. you could cash. It means you're, they're going to respect you. Yeah. So I don't think it's the same dynamic as a one-on-one, -on -one, right? Yeah. Or a chick who possibly even earns more than you, Yeah. right? Yeah. So I, I think the dynamics are different. You, you, are, you should be able to handle them. And you, Coast mm. Lady, how many nagas would you take? Uh, you're a polyandry. Yeah, it's exactly, legal Exactly, and it's legal. Right? Yeah. But I'm, I've not been phased. I've not been phased. 
faced, but answer the question. How many would you take? Uh, I just want to. I'm, I'm a, I'm a one, my one man woman. Hi, one at a time, guys. Uh, Hi. One, <laughs> yeah. one is enough. Faced. Yeah. Mm. Unless, unless it's like you have to alternate, like monthly. Mm. I that you watch every day. Like uh, you have, a, you are with someone else. Uh, well, if I was my forced to, my grandfather had six, six wives. Your six. grandfather had yeah. six wives. Six, six wives, yeah. Just. That's small. <laughs> what? That is small. Six wives. That's a lot, though. For just, dude, what was your grandfather like? Uh, some businessman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You kind of those like you must know your story like yeah. financially. And they all but had their own houses. You That's see? how it should be. Exactly. And then every house he went, ne? So let's say if he had a Porsche in this house, every house had a Porsche. Had a Porsche, yeah. Whoa. Whatever he had, his breakfast was crazy, bro. That nigga used to live like a king, bro. Mm. Damn, what business was he in? No, no, no. Yeah. Why are we Remember even <laughs> <laughs> hey, why, why are we even podcasting, dog? Have you heard of a podcast that was five wives? Four wives? What are we doing? The mic is your wife. Wow, man. Yes, they got Remember him. Mselegu? The, yes. The, the, the business guy from um, Durban. He's got a show, right? Yeah, he's got TV a show. show yeah. yeah. And and he had like, he, I remember when he went to go buy his wives a Mercedes Benz. Yes, yeah. yes. So he was doing for every board. It was equal you know so, so that's so how it's done yeah. this is how it's he had like breakfast kids. this is how he had breakfast uh. so he, he he used to live like um uh, he used to have a bell mm-hmm. for for the maid so when he rings the bell first they bring him coffee tea and he chooses which one he wants to have mm. so he'll choose yeah, like his tea. wife yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so he'll choose the tea and then breakfast it's full english breakfast oh everything eggs whatever everything and then he, he chooses whatever he wants to eat that day and then in the afternoon it was um pop and all the meats like beef uh chicken mm. everything all the meats okay all the meat yeah and then he just chooses was he a big guy yeah he was a big guy he must have been and then he just chooses on the on when they bring the food w- which kind of food he, he wants all oh, right and then the one he doesn't choose gets we, thrown away no no we eat them <laughs> So you used to oh, eat your grandfather's leftovers. Yeah. Wow. But that nigga lived like a king. So every house, every wife had to do that. And sometimes you wouldn't come back home to house number two and go to house number three. Hey, that nigga was like a king, bro. Yeah, you yeah, know, like yeah, his, his yeah, dinner yeah. was like, you know, Game of Thrones when they have the... Yes, yeah, so long yeah, the table. Yeah. Table. King office table. Yeah. 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 Can't do that now. All we get is McDonald's on a lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, that must have been but, dope. Though. But do people like with more than one wife? Do they have a, a, a like a, a, an orgy? Like, Ooh. do they? Or it's always like restricted to one wife? You know, uh, I feel like that, I think uh, from what I've heard is that you no know, s- such things don't happen because there's a respect that to that goes. Ah, uh, you see, you were looking for a threesome. That's what you want. Your yeah, but I'm already from then. sleeping with you and you and you and you and you and you know that I'm sleeping with all of you. Yeah, why can't we just do it concurrently? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's disrespectful. Is it? Yeah, to who? culturally, no. To who? My understanding, like culturally, that doesn't happen. But it's only now just. It's fantasy based. Those are things like you just want to explore on the side. Because already, me are you, you, are, you have to be respectful to each household. Remember, sometimes these women are not even greatest of friends, you know. But so do no, you expect but them to. But in a proper like polygamous marriage, they should Unless be there's on an arrangement. speaking terms. But right, because I mean, you are sharing a man, and right, you both love him yeah. equally. You want what's best for him. So, so just say you want to well. have an orgy. Yeah, just, just say that. Why, why, why are you hiding why? behind a polygamous marriage? I, I so no, but I'm, 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 look, I'm saying I wouldn't see anything wrong with uh, you, you as a guy. Parties. You wouldn't because you're just thinking of like self selfish reasons. Now, let's say these women and it, it, such things factors will come in. All right, you are having sex with this one. Now you're touching this one more than this one. You, you can imagine. Oh, okay. It seems like you're enjoying this one more. Like and these now, people start to stay together. Now, give them enough dick time. All of them uh, will get the same dick time. Okay, and all right. Lick time and everything. That's for your, that's for your own satisfaction, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is why we gotta have our own like uh, black insurance to to insure black things. You know what I mean? Because all these insurances insure white things, Chief. Yeah, yeah. What would you? What, what are we? Are we what gonna are insure? What are we insuring? Black things, yeah. yeah. Like I don't know, target, <laughs> <laughs> food poisoning, <laughs> witchcraft, side chicks. Oh, flip. 
Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you. So I need a black white tax. You can me and all of these. Yeah, eh? black tax. You can insure black tax. <laughs> <laughs> you see, those are real issues. These are real issues. <laughs> real black issues. Hey, oh, these white insurance are coming with pop things to insure it. I'm <laughs> telling you. Is that black owned insurance, well? Yeah, I'm sure. Black owned is in a company. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's, oh, I don't know the name, but there's a guy, man, um, on on my f- Facebook. What's his name? Forgot him. He's got an insurance company. It's black. Forgot yeah. Him. I'll find it. I'll find the the, the black insurance. Ah, we need company. one, Cosley. What would yeah. you insure? Eh? <laughs> I know. I'm actually. St- you know, black tax is also. Yeah, I feel eye on that one. So no, what? Guys. So when then would the, the the insurance company, um, step in with the black tax, like to pay the tax when you lose your job? Oh shit! Yeah. Right. Cause like, you can insure your weave, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there are things that as black women we need insured. <laughs> yeah, I was once at Richard. She, uh, this girl is dancing. Uh, she's having a good time, yeah. <laughs> and then this other girl grabbed a weave. Yo, gone. <laughs> Yo. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shame, man. Imagine. Eh? Yeah, that's when that black company needs to step in. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> you are insured. Yeah. Snaps with claims. You know? Wow. <laughs> anyway, what else has been happening, man? What did I miss out on? Um, what, what happened? What happened? What else happened? I mean, what happened? What happened? Um, um, I don't know. Ghost lady? A lot happened. We don't know what happened. What happened? What oh, Enzo Mutaka is our acting president. Yo, I was oh, thinking shit. about it while you were yeah. talking about <laughs> and, everybody's ho- and everybody's hoping, like, you know, she opens the country. <laughs> and, like, say, no more lockdown, alcohol is open, everything. Because you have to do something crazy <laughs> to be memorable as as an acting president. Like, Mango Sutu, remember <laughs> him invading Lesotho. Yeah. Right? We don't remember all the other acting yeah. presidents. Yeah. No and one. It was only for just one day. On Friday, the 2nd of July. That's it? Yeah. She should have made, made an announcement, man. Yeah, of something. They, yeah. they, they said she, she she probably just increased her salary. <laughs> 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 like she was there just increasing her salary. <laughs> like, that's all she did. <laughs> but it was a joke. Though, she was like, just acting and president. Might as well act a fool at once, right? <laughs> exactly. Open a fucking country. <laughs> increase your salary, you know? <laughs> Overtake Mango Sutra as the best acting president Yo, in SA. Like, just be wild in there. Uh, Speaking about money, have you guys ever borrowed a friend money? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. I How have did that end for times. you? Okay, I think they pay a lot of times because it's not like big amounts. Yeah, yeah it's it's never it never ends. And up you, sour. ghost lady? Uh, I think the worst ones. Yes, I have many mm. times, but the worst friends to borrow money are the ones who are gonna pretend like they don't owe you. You know, like you just like life moves on. It's like okay. Like now you have to start you have to ask and beg for your money and like oh it was easy for you to ask I gave you easily hey. but now getting my money back is a problem I got a friend he called me about two weeks ago he's like yeah. yo bro I'm in a mix this guy wants his money uh, but I don't have it but I'm getting it on Monday uh. oh, I want? Mm. and it was um quite a lot of money how much uh 10k okay yeah, so he's like I need yeah he's like I need 10k please give it to me now and then I'll give it to you by Monday I promise you I'm getting what some investment but what it was maybe Thursday okay so I'm skeptical of them, man, because I never borrow friends with mine. I don't want it to now alter our friendship because I know this guy all my life, man, since high school. Mm. You know what I mean? But I never borrow friends with money. Sure. Mm. But this time I was like, you know what? This guy sounds like he's in a mix. You know what? You okay. know what? It's fine. But I'm not going to give him all of it. So I gave him 5K. Okay. Mm. So I'm like, all right, boy, here's the 5K. Cool, clean. Mm. Monday comes. Mm. Two. Two. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, no, maybe he's busy. Yeah. Mm. Tuesday. <laughs> Wednesday, I'm like, hey, Chief, what's happening? He's like, ah, the money hasn't come through. It's about to clear 32 day notice. What, what? Wow. I'm like, how oh, about Chief? You didn't say that. Yo. Sharp. I'm like, ah, right, cool. Maybe you'll give it to me. He's like, no, I'm getting paid when, when, whenever. I'll give it to you end of the month. Yeah. End of the month, nothing. So now I'm chilling with my other friends because we're a squad. I'm like, ah, dog, have you ever borrowed this nigga money? Yes. They're like, you borrowed it money? Yo. I'm like, yes. They're like, ah, of course. <laughs> ah. Imagine it's in a savings account. Are you are not getting it anytime soon. Oh, so they, all the other friends have also borrowed the guy. Money. And he still owes them. And he still owes Shame, them. Man. Yeah, those are the worst. Shame. Those are the worst, eh? Ish. But why, Ung Shaila? No, with a thousand. I think he had the intentions to pay it back. I don't, I, I don't think he borrowed um, w- with the intention of not paying back. I don't know what happened. I don't know his situation. But he's your friend, right? 
Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking him. Time. You know, five thousand. Yo, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, ah, that's not nice. Yo, I own Shail, hey man, he finessed me, eh? Oh, shame, but you, do you get those friends or people who are just like habitual maniporoa? I don't know whatever you, the term you can use. Mm, mm, like mm. they just, it's like someone just wants to. They're constantly borrowing money. There are people who live from just they borrow and borrow and borrow and borrow. Yeah, because he's borrowing money from me to yeah, pay someone to pay else someone that he else borrowed else money borrow, from. Borrow, yeah, maybe it's lockdown. Maybe it's. Due to lockdown, I don't. Maybe it's, it started during lockdown. But you see now, maybe, maybe friends. We don't know the story with the like, friends. Maybe it goes back way before lockdown. You know? No, bro, he's a soft kid, bro. Yeah. His dad has got a house in the north of the fucking tennis court. You? Ah. Ah. I'm like dog. After a month, I'm taking the tennis court. <laughs> 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 ah, I bring in excavator. <laughs> I watch me. Hey, and the thing is, my thing is like now. Imagine like, uh, God forbid, something tragic happens, mm. and he really needs the money now. Yeah, true. You're the not boy gonna give wolf. him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not gonna give him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which exactly. is sad. You can't. Yeah. You can't. But what's the issue? Why? Why did he need it? Did he explain why? No, he said some guy that he borrowed money is oh, you threatening his life. Someone. Yes, Ish. yes, yes. But I think his friends just. And then I asked my aside. friend who borrowed the money, same excuse, yes. thirty-two day notice, uh, <laughs> investment. What? Uh, <laughs> Look, you guys are his boys. Money aside, talk to him. Maybe he's in serious cuck. Let me call him actually. Maybe yes. he's in serious cuck. The next thing you hear, hey guy, something happened to him, right? Let me call him. So like, yo, dog, you're my homie. Money aside, what's going on? What's wrong with you? Uh, are you when am I getting issues? my money? Like, are you asking when you're getting your money? Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's uh, tough. You're yeah. fighting now, most yeah. dog. Ziggy wants nappies and all that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, Ziggy's still in nappies. Nappies, wait. Yeah. How's Ziggy still in nappies, dog? I don't know. I must ask his mother, eh? <laughs> 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 Why did you lie on Zeke? <laughs> you just want a tangible excuse. My baby needs nappies. Lapo, your baby is. He's not answering. He's trying my money. You won't answer. You won't answer. Call him with the price. He's rocking in blue. He's rocking in blue with your five thousand. Yeah, my man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking about money, yes, know your cash is back up. Uh, you cannot oh, take the quiz. Oh, They're not going to crash now. No, 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 no. Sweet, oh, sweet, know sweet. your cash. Yeah, so yeah. head on out to know your cash uh, dot. Uh, what's their website? Know your cash dot. Where is it? Know your cash dot. So you can take the quiz dot academy. Know your cash dot academy right, and make sure you follow them on academy. Twitter. Uh-huh. Their handles are no underscore cash underscore. No, no, no underscore, underscore your, your underscore, underscore cash. cash. Oh. Yes. Shout out. Those are friends. Shout out. No underscore underscore your underscore cash. Yeah. The ambassador is SK, man. Do you think if we speak to them, we can get SK to come on? SK oh. calls. Yeah. SK calls, huh? oh, we can get SK directly, oh. surely. I don't have his number. Do you have his number? Oh, we can inbox him on Insta. I yeah. think SK would come on. SK yeah. seems like a chill guy, bro. Yeah. yeah he Haven't you called like him before? Guy, man. SK Cosa. Have I called him before? I'm not sure. Did you call him? I think yeah. you called him. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And, and he was keen. Did he act fresh? No. Yeah. Right? No, it was actually even after the, his scandal when he, <laughs> he showed his goods and all. <laughs> oh, when he showed his his ass. Yeah. Uh, was that a scandal? Just showed his ass on Instagram. I remember that. So you can bring his sex tape, your sex tape, <laughs> battle on the sex tapes. <laughs> wow. Now I'll put him to shame and I'll, I'll embarrass him with the iPhone. sex tapes. Someone with an iPhone is on. Hello, state your name. Who are you? Hello, sure guys. IPhone yeah. IPhone. Hey, iPhone. hey, how are you, my brother? Oh, hey, what's up, iPhone? I'm good. I was still trying to find the, the unmute option there. Yeah, no, we can hear you. Oh. Challenge, challenge. What's your name, bro? My name is Dion. What's happening, Dion Gibson? Yo, Dion, what's happening? No, I'm good, guys. Damn, I'm talking to you guys. Yes, you <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, Dion, you're talking to us, bro. Saul is here, Coast Lady is here. What's your question, Dion Gibson? How much are you paying, uh, Saul? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, Dion. <laughs> what are you going to do with my salary, Chief? He's wired wrong. I'm going to try to get salary. Dion Wyatt. <laughs> hey, Dion. Ha, ha, ha. How much would you be, how much would you pay Saul? Yeah, Dion. Yeah. yeah. 
Dion. Uh, since since you guys have, have this uh, uh, what's in Patreon or something, Patreon. I think now the salary is a bit higher. Mm. Maybe we ma- yeah, five tower maybe a week. <laughs> In why why us put zang emalu? For no, we put bamba in ponzi. Oh, what do they call it? Oh, it is a ponzi because it's a ponzi scheme. In ponzi. In ponzi. Yeah. Oh, us bamba ponzi scheme. You know why I'm asking about the money? Oh, us bamba ponzi scheme. And they know where we shoot now, eh? You know why I'm asking about the money? Yeah. Why? No, it's dead. I want. Ah oh, man, ah. his network is bad. Yeah, Can't Dion, even. but thanks for All right, cool. Let's move on. <laughs> How are you, Quena? Quena. Hey, Dumela. Quena. Quena. Your mic is on, but we can't hear you. Ah, uh, we can't hear you, bro. You low, very Quena. low, Quena. He's low. I can he's see. He's not even there at all. Yeah, he's there. I can see him, but I can't hear him. Oh, right. Quena. Okay, let's go to Nossi. Nossi, how are you, Nossi? Please join us, Nossi. I'm back, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yes, Who's Quena. Good? Now we can hear you, oh, Quena. Quena. Yeah, yeah. What's happening, Quena? I'm good, man. Hi, Ooh. Quena. Hey, what's Quena. happening there? Yeah, yeah, this guy looks like he was at the branch. The social move a branch. Yeah, you guys made me made a guy kiss me. I oh, 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 oh. You, you the guy who works for DJ Smoo, right? <laughs> yeah. You the guy yeah. who works for DJ Smoo at the metro station. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I That's know me. this guy. Oh, What's happening? What's happening, bro? Oh, wow. What's happening? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm chilling, man. What's your Just question, man? Fast. What's your question? Yeah. Mm. My, okay. Uh, what are a soul? A soul. When you go to buy hand uh, hand gloves, man, do you buy extra extra large or? What's the What's the situation there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gloves? When I buy gloves and condoms, I get the bigger size. Oh, hand gloves, Joe. Have you seen your fingers, dog? <laughs> My size times three. You okay, have long fingers, man. So you probably get not long, thick, large thick, thick, thick fingers. This guy is trying to be funny. This is why you'll never make it on radio. Thick fingers, bro. <laughs> He's trying to be funny. This yeah, guy. okay. I'm trying to be funny. Okay. I have another question. Oh, man. you're trying to be funny. Shit. Sorry, man. <laughs> Fuck. I am. I'm always coming to the <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> we'll give you another we'll give you another chance yeah, give us another know. joke give us another joke uh okay another joke mm. not joke no no uh, yeah. no, no oh, joke do you have a question a like a, a serious question or not serious no, but serious not question. a joke okay, serious but you have a question. Not a joke. Serious yeah. question yeah so this other lady uh called uh Pile, she came on an interview and she spoke about how you know Internship culture is such a, a lazy way to look at unemployment because what they do is most of the time they don't even pay you and they expect already after you get that. Hey, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Who's next? Hey, uh, no, 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 not the one. <laughs> Did he just that, drop the guy? But yeah. That, but that nigga was annoying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, at the branch. You're going to cut this out, obviously. But hey, that guy was annoying. <laughs> Not the proud. You remember that nigga, right? He can hear you. You guys are fucking rude, man. Oh shit! <laughs> fuck! Hey, I, hey, man! I didn't know you were here, bro. You know I love you, right? Oh, we even took yeah, pictures I'll together at the last branch. Chance. Last chance. Okay, last yeah, chance. Last chance. All right. Yo, and I was no, about to okay. talk. <laughs> you remember him, bro, right? I, I know the bridge. Like, I feel the bridge. He was right chilling right with Bumesh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last chance. Eating with us and stuff. Yeah, last chance. You remember him, right? We listen. You remember him. Yes. When you guys uh, drink uh, Great Joe, uh, have you ever got, have you ever been like too drunk and then you had to stop recording? No. Yes. Haven't you, haven't you seen uh, the Elias's interview? That, yo, I saw it, but in there, in that interview, man, you said you were high, man. Like you said you were fucked up. Bye. Okay, so who's here? Who can someone switch on their mic so we can talk to someone? Tuto. There we go. Tuto. Tuto. Okay. Yo, what's, what's happening, Tuto? Yo, Tuto. Tuto. I'm easy, bro. What's good? Good, man. Where are you from, Tuto? Bro. I'm from the Northern Cape. I'm currently in Kuruman. No, ah. that's close, you know. How's, how's COVID that side, man? Are you guys in lockdown as well? Uh, no, not. Yeah, we're definitely on lockdown, but, you know, we don't follow rules, really. <laughs> is there a spot where you, where you guys uh, no go does. party? Like, is South there still Africa. a spot? No. No spot. 
na na this isn't no oh, and bo bo my friend take it or leave it are the prices there I don't know, man. I don't. I'm not really in that. I don't drink or smoke, so I'm oh, just indoors okay. most of the time. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you got a question? I, do I have wait? I thought I, I'm always thinking of these questions. Ah, uh, wait. Give us what? Uh, but I, I no, I don't have a question, bro. Oh. I kind of forgot. Ah, mm. no problem. All right, no problem. It's okay. Yeah, wait. I have a question for Saul. Oh. It's true. I didn't have to... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, this guy laughs before he speaks. I have a question first. Yeah, and it's not funny whatever you're going to say. <laughs> what's up? Yeah, what's the question, bro? How are you, bro? <laughs> That's not the question. What's the question? <laughs> I'm good. What's the question? So, my question is, um, back in the BBA house, when you were massaging cat, what, were you, what was going through your head? Oh, that's a good question. Pussy, dog. Which I wanted, head? I wanted to fuck. You must ask which head. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other one was just blood going through. No. Oh. And then the other head was just, yeah. No, bro, of course, I was trying to smash. I was trying to... But, actually, I was thinking, is this worth, you know, throwing my relationship away? Because I was in a relationship then. Oh. So I was juggling my, my current with... With my current situation, yes, you know, I wanted to smash. Had but did Kat you have a chance? Smash, I tried. Well, she, she the umshai sangya, hmm. umshai sangya, meaning but, she. But if you want, nipped it in the bud. If you wanted, okay, yeah, but, but no, I, I, I was trying said, to smash. Obviously, I was. I mean, you saw my reaction. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, everybody saw it. I was turned on, onto a hundred. I was trying to smash, bro. That's what, what was going through my head. That's what goes through a guy's head when you're massaging someone's bums who are, are very soft. You massage the bum? Yeah, dog. Shit. Oh, cat. That bum, nice, soft butt. Oh, man. Massaging this butt. Ay, 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 ay. Man, can I get that? some of this tonight? <laughs> Didn't get anything. Hey, Tuto, did you vote for, for Sol in the no. BBA house? No. Definitely. He was my favorite. Oh. So why didn't you win? Well, I made it to the finals, so... I guess because he was too slow on the bombs, dog. I... <laughs> hey, dog. But you know you can't take the bombs by force. Now you know what I mean. <laughs> True. You can't take the bombs by force. <laughs> you know. So uh, if someone says no, no, maybe my Mac game is not that lit or that good. I don't know. But like, yeah, maybe if I smashed, I would have won. I mean, Manga smashed. He won. <laughs> And oh yeah, man, man yeah. got a big dick also. That's another thing. So if there's two guys who smashed, it's obviously going to be the one with the biggest dick who wins, right? Big dick energy. Big dick energy, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, my dick is not small, but yeah. you know, I mean, you saw from my tape. Yeah. How? Um, you saw from my tape. Yeah. What do you mean how? Yeah. What do you mean how? You know? Yeah. So yeah, but I was trying to smash. <laughs> anyway, man, we are here. Make sure you check out JR's interview. Fuck. Oh, we interviewed JR. Oh, oh, how was it? Right. Oh, amazing, okay. man. Ooh, guys. Is it? Oh, oh, man. He's a great storyteller. Dude. The stories he told us. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. I liked every time you explained how a song came about. Mm. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. Wow. No, Jerry, like, yo. Even the Make the Circle Bigger, that wasn't his song. Is it? It was meant to be Double HP's song. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Yes, he told the story of how that song came about. So that was also crazy, right? And yeah. I can actually see Double HP on that song. I can imagine, actually. Yeah, Yeah, but mm. fuck. What a dope episode, man. No, nah, we loved it. Anyway, oh, anything nice. else I'm missing out, Aya? Ukraine? I'm sure there's something we're missing out. And we'll always do this. Nah, we're always going to sure. remember, like, we afterwards. We'll always remember, like, we afterwards. Yeah. That, oh, flip. You're missing that, though. No, I've already mentioned that. Uh, we're coming at you live from David Mashabella Studios. <laughs> podcast <laughs> at mashabella.co.za. You've got to wow. pay our rent. Yeah. 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 Hey, the landlord. Hey. Hey. Yeah. But anyway, we are here. No, podcast are and chill, people. man. Boom. Peace. Yo, 
what's happening? Thank you so much, Chillers, for the continued support. Always remember, make sure you subscribe and you like. And also, if you like, you can become a subscriber. And yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo, what is happening? Shout out for your continued support on Podcast and Chill. Make sure you subscribe and like. They subscribe and they like, right? <laughs> oh, that one. All right. Yo, what's happening? Shout out to... No, nah, fuck. Let's go again. To paint me then. To paint me. Yo, what is happening? Shout out. Thank you guys so much for the support. And always remember to subscribe and like. And you can also become a member and subscribe to Patreon and, you know, throw the, the coins a bit. All right, peace. Love you though so much. <laughs> Last one? Yeah. yeah. Yo, thank you guys so much for your fucking continued support. Please remember to subscribe, like, and do all those things. Become a member, a patron if you want to bless us a bit and, you know, throw the coins that make them dance on the podcast. Peace. Love you so much. <laughs>